What's going on everyone, my name is Codemore, and welcome back to Intro to Web Development Episode 7. Today we are going to be learning about character entities. Now a character entity is basically a way for us to program any text character that we can't actually type into the text editor. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, if you're a mathematician or something and you want to create a website, uh, maybe you'll have a few equations or inequalities on there, so like 10 is less than uh, 50. Well, that's a problem right there because this less than symbol is actually the symbol that starts a tag. So HTML or the web browser is going to think that you are beginning a tag and not that you just want to display the less than symbol. Now on modern browsers, this might actually work and this might actually display to the screen, but it's bad programming practice to leave it like this. This is the incorrect way to do it because on some older browsers, this isn't going to work. So what is the proper way to type in a less than symbol? Because we can't. It, it begins a tag. So how do we do that? Well, we use something called the less than character entity. Basically, a character entity begins with an and symbol and then the name of the character entity. For the less than symbol, it's the letters LT and then a semicolon. Don't forget the semicolon at the end. What this will do is it's going to simply print the less than symbol to the screen. And HTML isn't going to think that you're beginning a tag. It's going to know that you want to print the less than symbol to the screen. And as you can see, we have 10 is less than 50. So that's the basics of what a character entity is. Maybe if uh, you're a mathematician and you want to write uh, 50 is also greater than 30, well, we can't do this because HTML thinks you're going to be ending a tag, which you really aren't, so you have to use the greater than symbol character entity, which is simply an and symbol, GT for greater than, and then a semicolon. Go ahead, save this, and of course, as we would expect, we also get that greater than symbol, and it doesn't think that 50 is being a tag, it knows that you're printing the less than and greater than symbols. So character entities allow us to do that. So hopefully you guys understand what a character entity is now, let's do a few more character entities to learn. The most important ones are the less than, greater than, and then the copyright one. Often at the bottom of your website, you're gonna say, uh, like, like, copyright, and then you're gonna have the little copyright symbol, so copyright, and then the copyright symbol, uh, and then your name, like, Codemore, like that. If we save this and we run it, we get the text that I just wrote, but it doesn't look professional. We want the actual symbol for a copyright there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the copyright character entity, and it is simply the and symbol, and then copy and a semicolon. And that's going to give you the little copyright symbol, and that usually is found at the bottom of websites. So now we know the less than, greater than, and copyright character entities. And we are going to use two more character entities in this tutorial. First of all, how to display the actual and symbol itself. And again, this is mainly important for older browsers, not necessarily modern ones, but you should get in the habit of doing this. So if you want to write the actual and symbol, this symbol right here, what you're going to do is you're going to write, so say a sentence like left and, and then the AMP and a semicolon, and write like that. And that's just an example sentence. So what and amp will do is it's going to put the ampersand symbol or the symbol I just showed you, this little and symbol right there. So that's what the ampersand uh, character entity does. And the final character entity that we are going to learn today is the space or no break space or essentially a space. So remember how in the previous tutorials I said that no matter how many spaces you have in between words, HTML or the web browser is only going to write in one space. Well, what the no break space character is going to do is it's going to allow you to write a bunch of spaces. So it's and mbsp and a semicolon. And I'm just going to copy this right next to each other a bunch of times like that. So we have a bunch of spaces in there. And if we reload our web page, you'll see that we have more than one space. So that's another way how to implement more than one space into your HTML document. So let's do a quick recap of all the uh, character entities that we learned. We, knew, we learned the no break space character or a space. We've learned the less than symbol. We've learned the greater than symbol. We've also learned the ampersand symbol. And finally, one of the most important ones that you're going to be using, the copyright symbol. And if we save that, we should get all of the character entities that we learned today, and we do. Less than, greater than, ampersand, and copyright symbol, and there's also a space in there. So that was it for today's tutorial, character entities. It was pretty simple. Now there are many more character entities. These aren't the only character entities. So on my website, I'm going to have a list of character entities if you want to look at them and learn a few more than just the ones that I taught today. But that was kind of an introduction to character entities. Now if you've made it this far to the tutorial series, that's great, because in the next tutorial, it's going to be a fully practiced tutorial and you are going to recreate a website that I give you. And it's going to use a lot of the elements that we learned throughout these past seven tutorials. So be excited for the next tutorial guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.